Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Shop Dog Fabrication. So today, working on my son's 2021 crawl. Um, it's basically time for general maintenance. Uh, for its first oil change, we're just going to inspect the air filter. Top off is like his washer solvent, and that's pretty much all we can really do. And double check like the coolant level um, and the brake level. Um, power steering on this is electronic, so there is no power steering pump or fluid per se. So there's only a few general things you can do. We're also gonna do an oil change on it, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, you will need to lift the vehicle up. Uh, so if you don't have a jack uh, to safely get under the vehicle, <clears throat> you're gonna need one. Um, and then some jack stands, which is very important that you must put jack stands under it as well. Do not trust a jack. All right, first thing, <clears throat> first thing, here is your washer solvent level, right? Pull that up, you look at the little chain, and where you do not see, you can see here, for example, oops, you can see no fluid because it's dry, no fluid, no fluid, no fluid, no fluid. Yeah, basically, this thing is empty. You know, I'm based all the way down, hey, there's some finally. Um, all the way to the tip. So we'll need to fill this up with some washer solvent. So you basically use that all up. So I'll put some in that. You can see coolant level. This is your coolant level. Basically just look at it, make sure you have fluid. Um, there's the, over here, that is your brake fluid level. You see we got plenty of brake fluid. There is a fill level mark that you can check. Um, I'm not gonna do a close up of that. And then right here is your air filter. It's pretty easy to do. There's two snaps. There's a snap right here and a snap right there. Basically just pop these two little snaps off. Like so. Just slip it out of the end. See how it slips out right here. So it'll slip out of the end there. Okay, and slip in there. It's easier to do with two hands than one. Um, but then you can inspect your air cleaner. So we'll pull this guy out, take a peek at it. You know, again, this is the first oil change on the vehicle. Looks in good condition. I'll go ahead and put that back in here in a second when I have two hands available. Um, but you just reverse the order of things. Put the air filter in. Slide it in these two, you know, into this tab down here, and then put your two clips back on, and then you've got your air filter done. So that's pretty easy to do. So the next, we'll go inside the vehicle, and I'll show you how to inspect your cabin air filter. And then after we do the cabin air filter inspection, then I'll show you how to do the oil change. Guys, first thing you need to do, empty out your glove box. All right. And then from there, what you'll need to do, let me get this light positioned, is you'll need to disconnect this little shock absorber. So basically you just pinch on these and then slide this off. So I'll try to do this one-handed, there we go. Pinch, slide it off, and then this. Now you can kind of get the glove box, give it a little pull this way, Give her a little squeeze this way. Glove box can come out. It's simple to hinge it back on here and here. And then right here is your cabin filter. So right here is your cabin air filter. Um, again, it's hard to do this all one-handed, guys. But basically, you pop this little door off. You have a filter in there. Pull it out replace it, put it back in, and you're all set. So let me go ahead and take that out with two hands, and then I'll show it to you, and then uh, put it back in. All right, guys, you see I've got the cover removed, and there is an up symbol here uh, to show you which direction it does go back on. Here's the cabin air filter. It also has 
an up symbol. Uh, it's hard to see, but it is there. So you can see, there we go. There's the up symbol. Um, okay, so that's the direction it goes. You can see it's nice and clean. See right through it, no problem. So where it is located again, right there, that's where we put it back in. So you just take it, slide it in there like so. If you have to replace it or just clean it out. And again, here's our cover. There's the up symbol. So you take your cover, try to do this one handed. Okay, there we go. Cover's back in place. Now we can go ahead and put the glove box back in. So put the glove box back on. You see there's the little hinge points. Okay. Here's the hinges on the glove box. Just take it. Set it on there like so. Okay. You see there's your glove box kind of hanging. See if I can do this one handed. Just pop it back up in there like so. Come over here. Okay. Make sure you connect your little shock. All right. Come over here. There you go. Got your little shock reconnected. There you go. Glove box open and close, all back aligned and functioning. So now you can put all your contents back in. You see, there's all my son's junk. So anyway, that's all set. There you go. Now we can go on to the oil change. All right, guys. So you can see there's going to be an undercover here. Um, there's three fasteners you'll need to remove. Um, two in the front, one in the back there, and then I left the center one on as a pivot point. Um, I just loosened it up. I didn't need to remove it all the way. And then it'll expose your drain plug, which you can see. Uh, whoops, let me get the camera set up. You can see right there is your drain plug. And then right here is your oil filter. So we'll need to drain the oil out of this thing. Um, put the drain plug back in afterwards after you drain all the oil out. And then I typically remove the oil filter next, let it drain out, put the new oil filter on, then lower the vehicle and then I will um, fill the oil up. So again, drain. So here's my drain pan. Drain the oil from that plug. Remove your filter and drain all it. Put your new filter on. And you do not need to over tighten the filter. You just need to snug it on, guys. You don't need to take and crank the stupid thing on. Otherwise, the next time you have to remove it, you won't be able to. It'll be real hard. Um, so, and again, I'll, let me try and set the camera here and we'll drain the oil out of this thing. So we've got the new oil filter, and one thing that I always do is always take a little oil and rub it on the seal here. Um, I don't know, it's just something I do uh, to make sure I get a good seal, and that's also easy to get on and off. So I dip my finger into the old oil, and I'll put it a little bit on the lip here. So, stick my little finger in there, get a little on there, and just run it on the seal here. So, now that I've got that done, we'll come up here, we'll thread it on, and honestly guys, uh, my hand is a little oily, but I'll get a shop rag, and I'll basically just tighten this up just a little bit more by hand, um, and call it good. So like I said, you don't have to crank this on, but you definitely want to get it good and snug so where it's not going to come loose, right? Um, so many times what I will do is I will take this, put that on there like so, and I use the right end, 
and then just give her a little a little snug um, just to make sure she's nice and tight on there remove that check it to make sure and we're good so what I'll do is fill this up with the engine oil set this on the ground I'm going to leave the cover exposed or undone for right now and I can tighten this on the ground afterward um, but what I'll do is start it and check to make sure I don't have any engine oil leaks um, you know before I obviously button this thing up and drive it so let me go ahead now that I've got the oil filter the drain plug back installed we've got the oil filter here back installed um, I'm going to lower the vehicle down to the ground fill it full of oil start it and double check and make sure we don't have any leaks all right all right now that we've got our engine oil drained our drain plug back installed our oil filter removed and our new oil filter installed we can put the oil in here's your oil filter cap right there it says engine oil remove your cap put your fil your funnel in place and then We can install our engine oil, and this car takes five quarts of oil. So now we'll come over here and try not to make a mess. And basically this is a five quart container, so I'm gonna jump all five quarts in. get her all in there. Now we'll go ahead and remove the bottle, put our drain cap back in. We'll start the car and check for leaks. Alright everyone, as you can see we started the engine up and it would be obvious under uh, 40 pounds of oil pressure if there was uh, engine oil leak. So it looks like we're good on the engine oil, uh, the oil filter is good and tight, drain plugs tight, full of oil, and we have oil pressure. So uh, I'd say now we can put that undercover back in place right here um, with the three fasteners I took out. and. We will uh, wrap this video up. So let's talk about waste oil real quick, everyone. So you can take your waste oil um, and put it back in the, your oil container and take it to like Advanced Auto, AutoZone, you know, O'Reilly's probably, and they will take it. Uh, our local municipality burns it in the wintertime, so they will take the, uh, the engine oil. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oil container and take it over to my local municipality and they'll take it for free and burn it uh, for wintertime fuel oil. Anyway, just wanted to make sure you take care of your waste oil properly. All right, everyone. So I hope uh, this helps you doing some general maintenance to your 2021 Corolla. Um, like I said, my son's is a nightshade hatchback edition. Uh, it's a pretty nice little car. So these are just some general things to do uh, like I said, how to inspect your air filter, how to inspect your cabin air filter, where you can check your coolant level, your brake level, refill your washer fluid level, and how to do a basic oil change. Uh, if you don't feel comfortable doing these things, obviously now at least you know what it takes when you take it to somebody to do the service. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. The biggest thing is safety. 
if you do jack up the vehicle, make sure you use jack stands um, for safety so the jack doesn't you know, slip out from under the car and crush you. Um, and then obviously take care of your waste all afterward. So with that said guys, have a great day, have fun, get out and shop, take care everyone, until the next video.